Welcome everybody to this special edition of Saturday Sports Extra live from Fort Lauderdale, Florida as we follow the Virginia Cavaliers ahead of Monday night's Orange Bowl. Now Coach Bronco Mendenhall's team had a chance to let their hair down just a bit today at a beach party with family and friends over at the team hotel. But the time for fun is just about over as game day approaches. Virginia will face a Florida defense that ranks in the top 10 in the country in nearly every statistical category. And it's a group led by Pulaski County native Todd Grantham. Todd Grantham has been a coaching journeyman working in the NFL with both the Browns and Cowboys and in the college ranks at places like Louisville, Mississippi State, and Georgia. He's now in his second season with the Gators, who can win their 11th game of the year Monday night. They, they put in the work, done a good job. I liked our communication. I liked our energy. Um, you know, we just got a couple more days to prepare and continue with that path and um, look forward to an exciting game on Monday. It's a bit ironic that Grantham is facing off against Virginia after playing as an offensive lineman at Virginia Tech from 1984 to 1988. My memory don't, I don't recall it well, but I'll say I don't think we lost to him. So I think, I think, uh, who was the coach? I think a guy named Dick Bestwick may have been the coach. That may be showing my age, right? So, and then eventually George Welsh came into play. Broncos done a good job of bringing that program back to, um, uh, ability to compete, you know, because it had been a, a run there when Coach Beamer was there that um, Virginia Tech, you know, had done a good job and kind of had the streak going. So uh, I'm pretty familiar with that rivalry. Grantham is also plenty familiar with outgoing Virginia Tech defensive coordinator Bud Foster. The two coached together in Blacksburg for six years in the 90s and are two of the most well-respected names in all of college football. Grantham offered this salute to his close friend, whose last game will be Tuesday's Belk Bowl. Uh, considering him a, a friend and a brother, love the guy to death. Uh, really proud of what he's done there and accomplished. Um, and glad to see him going out on his terms. Um, and wish him nothing the best, you know, in his future with his family. And uh, just got a lot of respect for what he's done. I'm not sure that kind of tenure will ever be um, around again. It's just very rare this day and age. Uh, the way sports is set up. Um, but but again, I mean, obviously it's a place that I care deeply about, and he's a person that I care about too, and glad to see him going out on his own terms.